Okay, I'm going to try and show you how to make uh, any major or minor uh, chord that you want. With uh, There are a couple of different ways you can do it, or a couple of easy ways so that you can learn, right? Okay, so first of all, um, you should know that to find any C on the board, to find any C on the keyboard, you want to look to the first white note that's to the left of any group of two black notes. So there's a group of two black notes here, a group of three, a group of two. So any time where there's a group of two, like here and here, the first white note that's to the left is a C, no matter where you are on the keyboard. Yes, excuse me, my tripod is making my hands look a little bit weird, so forget about what exactly my hands look like when I'm playing this. So those are your Cs. To play a C major, um, you can do this. Play a C, and then count up four half steps. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to play that. And from there, you're going to count up three half steps. One, two, three. And you're going to play that. Consequently, that trick of playing a note, counting up four half steps, playing that note, and then counting up three half steps is a way to find any major on, on any anywhere on the keyboard. So just pick a random note. Let's say I pick, like, F sharp. I can play four half steps from here, one, two, three, four, and then three half steps, one, one, two, three, and I've got an F sharp or a G flat major. So before, I, just in case, I, this may be too simple for some of you, but just in case you don't know, a half step is the shortest distance be between any two notes. And if you like pick a note like F and slide your finger all the way to the back of the keyboard, you'll see that the next half step up is actually an F sharp, is one of these, is a, a black note, and then the next note up is a G. And if you play it like this, you'll see that sometimes when you go up a half step between, for instance, a B and a C, there are two white notes in a row before you go back to black, white, black, white, two white notes in a row. So by sliding your finger to the back of the keyboard, you'll be able to more easily see what a half step is. It'll make it a little bit less confusing. But if you don't need to do that, that's great, because most of the time we're not going to be playing too far up the keyboard. Although sometimes you'll want to slide your hands back a bit. So, pick any note, that, like, let's say, uh, D sharp. Let's say, if we want to find that major, we're going to play that note. We're going to play four half steps higher, so one, two, three, four. And then three half notes, half steps from here. One, two, three. So there we have a D sharp or an E-flat major. Just so you can see the, the notes, I'm trying to get some of my fingers out of the way here. You really want to usually be playing this with uh, one hand spread out nicely. <laughs> Just think about that for now. So, that's pretty easy. Another way to find any major is to start with a major that you already know and just um, slide it up a half step, each finger up a half step, one at a time. So there's a D sharp minor, I mean a D flat minor. Here's a D minor, D sharp, E flat minor. And I sort of rushed there at the end just to, so that we can keep this video clipping along. But you can find any... Um, you can trans basically you're transposing that chord of C and you can go in either direction so you can go down a half step with each finger now I'm playing a B major here's a B flat major I'm just moving every finger down a half step one at a time so from the B flat major if I want to play an A major I can just move this finger down one half step this finger down one half step and this finger down one half step so A, C sharp, and E make up an, e, an A major. Now to find any minor chord, you can apply sort of similar rules. You can, like for instance, to play a C minor, you're going to play the C first. And then you're going to, instead of counting up four and then three, you're going to switch it. You're going to count up three and then four. So ready? C, count up three half steps. One, two, three. And from there, you're going to count up four half steps. One, two, three, four. There, C minor. You can do that from anywhere on the board. So, for instance, F minor. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. F minor. You can also apply that other rule I taught you, which is just tr basically transposing the chord. So, each finger moving down a half step at a time. Or up a half step at a time. So, here you have E minor. E, G, and A. 
I mean E, G, and D. I'm sorry, E, G, and D. E flat or D sharp minor, D minor, C sharp or D flat minor. When I'm saying C sharp or D flat minor, it's this leftmost note that determines, in this case, what the chord is. Sometimes you'll be playing a chord like this. That's the same chord. It's a C sharp or a D flat minor. But don't be fooled because the leftmost note is not a D flat or a C sharp. But for now, if you play everything in what's called the root inversion, which is the way I'm teaching it to you right now, you won't get confused. So C major, C, E, and G. C minor, C, E flat, and G. There is one more way to, to move between minor and major modes, is if, and that is if you play, for instance, a major chord like an F, which is F, A, and C, the way to make this chord minor is to make the middlemost note a half step um, flatter, a half step deeper, a half step to the left. So F major is F, A, C, F minor is F, A flat, or G sharp, or well, let's say A flat, F, A flat, and C. So, hopefully those are, that I, threw a, I threw a lot of different ways for you to find um, majors and minors. Pick one that works for you that'll help you practice, and um, hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to find any chord that you uh, need for a song, simply by um, either finding, starting with the C and moving up, or just using, using any of the tricks that I taught you so that you can sort of gather the things you need before you start learning the song. It'll make it a little bit easier. Okay, peace.